Hey, what's up, big dog? Can, can we do it? Okay, then. DJ, some of my favorite videos from last year came from you celebrating with your teammates inside the locker room after a win. How much fun was last season? It was a great year for, for us. I mean, I, we had a lot, a lot of people doubted us, you know, even me signing here. Oh, we, we don't know about that guy, you know. I know, I, I, you know, the thing about it is that you use that kind of energy and you, you, and you kind of like tell yourself like, we're going to be a great team. It's about us buying in and being together and, and actually like uh, building that bond. I think that was, that was like really important for us. And we actually did that. I think we came out and, uh, and uh, proved the point to everyone that we can play football and Seahawks have not changed. What's been the feedback? to your impersonation of Sierra in the video oh, that you man. made with Tyler Lockett. I, I have been catching so much heat from, from, from my friends. Like, dude, you play, play, play as a girl, man? What's going on here? You know, but I mean, it was fun. It was fun for a while. They, they, a lot of these fans tried to get us to, to impersonate them more and more. But I was like, it was just a one-time thing. You know, you don't get a one-time show. That's really about it. But it was fun, though. Russ, Russ enjoyed it. We, 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 cracked, we cracked a few jokes in the uh, team room. It's with legendary. Him. It is. <laughs> it is. I'm seeing it everywhere now, all Twitter trending, you know, but Russ is a good dude, man. We, we had to give him a hard time. DJ the Warrior, where'd you get that nickname? I've been through a lot of adversity in my life to get, to get where I'm at today. And if I were a warrior and if I would have gave up, I would not I would not have been the guy I am today. You know, um, going, going through adversity, going through poverty, you know, trying to over, overcome the obstacles, not having a lot, and not having clothes, not having shoes sometimes. You know, and if I would have gave up, I would have gave up, up my dream of being at the next level. We're talking about that adversity. So many people were talking about Russell Wilson buying his mom a house on Mother's Day. That's the first thing you did when you got to the NFL was buying your mom a house. Is that correct? I did. I did. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I finally had my own bed, my own my own room. Have my, my mom. She can she can wake up in the morning, and go, go go to the kitchen and, and get food, get breakfast. Um, uh, having a car to drive up of our own. You know, and that was the kind of thing for us, is just being able to provide. How often do you think about what you went through with Hurricane Katrina and, and being displaced and, and finding your way through that adversity? You know, the thing is, is like, a lot of kids don't, don't come through that. They, a, a lot of kids don't make it. Either they go the wrong route to go do drugs or, you know, they, just like, they give up on life. But the thing was, like, my mom would say I, I always had a calling on my life to do, to do bigger, bigger and better things. Not knowing what that could have been, you know, usually I was thinking like I would go to college, get a job, and, and but but thinking about it, God had His own way for me. Going through through those tough times made made me a better person, you know. Um, but it, it made me a better ball player. I tell you that because I don't take crap from nobody. <laughs> Is there any way to describe that and the situation that you were in to somebody that's never really experienced it before? It's more if I if I were trying to try to get someone to see see the picture through my eyes, you would have to be you would have to be me. You would have to see. You have to walk in my shoes. Them hard. Them shoes are big. Are, are big feels. <laughs> twenty sides. Twenty, yeah, 20, size twenty. Right? <laughs> so you have to you, you have to fill those shoes. But just get home a visual. I would tell them, hey, um, try try for instance, sleep in your car one time, a few times, and then, and then dig off from there. I mean, there are guys that people have done it as adults, right. and they overcame their or they overcame their, their adversity. But try doing it as a kid and try to still have a positive attitude. You know, when I grew up, I thought home alone was like, hey, my life's gonna be like home alone. You know. Going here, like it's cool, it's neat. It's how parents really are, you know. But my, my rude awakening was like it was not like that. It, we, we had to learn for like to, to fit for ourselves, learn how to work, how to how to cut grass, how to learn things. And if a guy was rich, for instance, you took away all your credit cards and you gave you six hundred dollars a month, go live and, and see how far far you can get before you be like, hey, you know, I have to go back go back to towards reality because that'll give you a taste of what it's like not to have anything. You're three hundred fifty pounds. It also feels like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders. Is that why you're able to pancake defensive linemen so easily? I, I, I think I think it's more it, it's more of just having just having fun. If you if you can have fun, man, with the game, man, it, it's it, it's like why you play it. You know, I, I I love to get dumped on a guy and knowing that I just did it did, did it to him. He looking at me like, man, guy, he guy, seven eight got me last got, got me last time, guy. Hey, stay away from him. You know, I I enjoy that. Because uh, all that does is just build off the line. Like, we, oh, if he did it, we all want to do it. And one guy does it, hey, hey, I got the next one. It's on me. <laughs> you know, that's what you want. You want guys to have that same intensity. Same intensity. Like, I always say, match my intensity. Cause one, because when, when you're playing ball, you can see the passion on passion like, like on the field. Make it, making a big first down when it's like 31 or 40 inches. Coach, and coach like, hey, go for it. We got it. You know, those things matter to us. Woo! Woo!